Flying squirrels are a subspecies of squirrels that live on several continents. We have three types of flying squirrels here in the United States. They can be harder to spot than other squirrel species as they are primarily nocturnal. They are also smaller than other species, such as the gray squirrel. The total length of the flying squirrel is just 8 to 10 inches as compared to the gray squirrel whose total length is 18 to 20 inches. Despite their name, flying squirrels can't actually fly. They glide. They have what's called a patagium, which is basically extra skin that goes from the front to the back feet. The patagium acts like a parachute. They can glide from a complete standstill still, or by having a running start. They can maneuver quite well while gliding and turn at a 90 degree angle to avoid obstacles. Flying squirrels have several adaptations. Along with the patagium, they have long tails that provide stability while they glide. The tails have feathered fur which aids in this stability. Their limbs are longer than other squirrels compared to their size, but the bones in their feet and hands are smaller. Since they are nocturnal, they have large eyes. The flying squirrel can glide as far as 300 feet. They obtain lift by controlling the tautness of the patagium and by moving their limbs can steer or take advantage of the wind. Gliding gives these squirrels some advantages. They glide between trees while foraging, which is more energy efficient. It gives them a unique way to avoid predators and helps them compete with tree squirrels for food. Human windsuits are sometimes called squirrel suits. They were developed after studying the flying squirrel's patagium. Flying squirrels are also capable of running down trees the same way other tree squirrels do. However, they are clumsy when on the ground. You can check out my video about squirrels to learn more about other species of squirrels. Just like your other squirrel friends, flying squirrels are omnivores and eat a variety of foods, including whatever you have in your bird feeders. They eat a variety of nuts and seeds, as well as mushrooms, flowers, insects, and bird eggs. Flying squirrels store food for the winter. They nest in tree cavities where tree limbs come together or in holes made by woodpeckers. They don't hibernate, but they do experience torpor. Their metabolic rate slows and they can lower their body temperature to conserve energy. Owls are the main predators of flying squirrels. Other birds of prey and snakes will also prey on them. Southern flying squirrel females will give birth twice a year in litters being between two to seven kits. Northern flying squirrels typically only have one litter. The babies are called kits and they are born deaf, blind, and furless. Babies are weaned at about two months and are ready to live on their own at four months old. Flying squirrels are quite social and will nest or den together. Typically, these will be related animals, but they are open to non-related members. Thanks to Steve for suggesting this video. Let me know in the comments what other animals you would like to learn more about. Fox Run is a nonprofit with a mission to help you learn about and enjoy the natural environment. Thanks for watching and have a fabulous day.